It's 1-1. One, one. Let me show you what Washington and the clowns in the media, particularly on TV, are focused on. If you want to know what the left is thinking in the spin, you go to Mediate. I don't recommend it, but you can, like a clown like Ken Meyer. The top five highlights from the blockbuster New York Times report on Trump investigations. And we have the senior judicial analyst saying, this would, be, <laughs> this would be obstruction of justice. That guy, every other day, he sees a shoe dropping on the president of the United States. I'm sorry. It's become outrageous. Whereas a citizen, you can't ignore it. This is how this clown writes. The New York Times has released an extensive report on President Donald Trump's political war with the investigations into his affairs. And it's quite a doozy. Now, keep in mind, we have this coup attempt, which is nothing like the country's ever seen before, coming out of the Department of Justice and the high ranks of the FBI with assistance from some of these intelligence operatives and the different agencies. So it's, it's, it's a fact, because McCabe has confessed by hawking a book. But this is the big story to the New York Times and the mediaite on the left. It's like the coup never happened. The report explores Trump's efforts to push back on the inquiries that surround his presidency. Taking note of the more than 1,000 instances which the president and his team have disparaged Robert Mueller. This is amazing to me. How many instances did the media disparage Ken Starr? In fact, how many instances have the media disparaged Robert Mueller? Zero? The FBI and the Department of Justice and a variety of law enforcement figures. Well, of course they have. They tried to take this president out. However, by reviewing dozens of confidential documents and interviewing numerous government officials... That Times has pieced together the details of Trump's effort to undermine the legal process from inside. Again, the New York Times is working on his impeachment or to defeat him for re-election. It's quite a bit to break down here, but I, Ken Meyer, I'm capable of this. With that in mind, here are seven of the most consequential takeaways from the explosive feature. Number one, POTUS wanted Matt Whitaker to have a Trump ally take over the Southern District of New York's investigation. The report starts off with a bang, stating that Trump contacted Matt Whitaker, uh, Matt Whitaker shortly after he replaced Jeff Sessions as acting attorney general. During this phone call, Trump reportedly asked if it was possible to have a friendly face like attorney Jeffrey Berman installed at the top of the Southern District of New York's investigation. Let's just stop there. First of all, it's denied. Who was the Attorney General of the United States under Barack Obama? Eric Holder. Was he a friendly face? Yes. Sure was. Every U.S. Attorney is appointed by the President of the United States and confirmed, or not, by the Senate. As the Time notes, during Whitaker's recent testimony before the House Judiciary Committee, he claimed that Trump never leaned on him to interfere with the Mueller investigation. Okay, so then how is this a fact? (laughs) <laughs> well, you know, if this is true, that's obstruction. It's a bombshell, I tell you. It's a bombshell. Listening to this guy on cable, it's Dresden every day. Bombs and bombs and bombs and bombs. It's, it's, a, it's a bombshell. Oh, my God, another one. Number two, Trump directed Spicer to echo Paul Ryan's dubious claim that he'd asked for Flynn's resignation. So what? Number three, Trump asked Corey Lewandowski to pressure Jeff Sessions into resigning. So what? President could have done that directly, too. Pardons for Flynn and Manafort. This section section speaks for itself, says the Ken Mayer Meyer. One of Mr. Trump's lawyers also reached out that summer to the attorneys for two of his former aides, Manafort and Flynn. Discussed possible pardons. Does anybody remember all the pardons that Clinton handed out, like lollipops? Or the uh, pardon that Obama handed out to a terrorist? Does anybody remember any of this stuff? Rudy Giuliani's partnership with Manafort's lawyer, a Giuliani, as Giuliani conducted his legal and public relations campaign against the investigation. He's described as getting help from Kevin Downing, who represented Manafort. So what? Lawyers talk to each other all the time. In fact, part of the problem with our government is they're leaking cases to the media. And you see, ladies and gentlemen, these are bombshells dropping all over the place, like Dresden. Oh, my God. A 
no screw off New York Times. The Holocaust denying New York Times. We regular Americans who do not believe in fundamentally transforming this great country, we're on to you. That's why you had to have this billionaire from Mexico buy your damn newspaper. But it's, it's crucial. All the news that's fit to print, except for the Holocaust back in the 40s. Yeah, oh my God. They can all go to hell, quite frankly. 